Hey everyone, my name is Dizzer. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to do the soccer goal slash flags challenge minigame in Jailbreak. So, in case you guys don't know, there's like a, a soccer goal with the uh, soccer ball and a goal at the museum. Soccer ball in front of the prison, you gotta get that ball from the prison to the museum some way. Ball, you cannot like rope it or anything like that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys the fastest way I know how to do this. So, to do this, um, just go into a VIP server, you can do the solo, it's, it's actually the easiest of solo because you don't know what other people are going to do, you can't really trust other people all the time, there's going to be occasionally a few snot knockers in public servers that just come over there and like kick the soccer ball to wherever they want to like kick it, so what you want to do is either use the regular helicopter right here or the military heli, and I'm going to go ahead and use the military heli because it is just so much easier. So here's the soccer ball right in front of the jail, you want to come down here, and basically the road is follow this main road to that police station and then go to the top of the museum, knock it onto the museum road and then loop it to the museum. So here we go, let's just come over here and just push this ball. You want to keep it like a nice and slow rate, keep it along this side of the road. You want to like have it follow the road actually because the roads, they're actually pretty good. You see how like they have like these um raised edges over here. These raised edges let, let the ball like just tend to stay on the road. So uh, come on, no, 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 if the ball rolls off, you want to like knock it back onto the road just like so. And if it has a natural barrier, you don't want to go too fast, otherwise it might go over or it bounce off. So now that we're on the road, you can see both sides of the road have like tall kind of-ish. That way the ball won't roll off and we're just going to keep on rolling the ball this way. You want to just guide it very slowly. The ball is going to naturally slow itself down so you won't have to do anything to like counteract its movement. And then here we go, once it's over here, it'll just like bounce straight ahead and you can let it roll. This is why I love this route so much, because it's super duper easy to get this ball up there. I mean, just like, basically let the ball roll, that's all you gotta do. Let the ball roll, you don't wanna force the ball into doing anything. You wanna go slow, not fast. If you go fast, then you're gonna not have enough time to react and the ball's gonna do funny stuff. So now that we're up here, we're gonna have to um, push the ball from the left side of the ball, because this side of the road over here is open, so that means if the ball accidentally rolls this way, then it has a chance to roll into the train, which is not good. So we're just going to follow along the edge of the road that does have structures, that way um, we can just keep deflecting back onto the road like this. The road is like a really, really useful guide, and we're just going to keep on coming way up here, just like so. And now we're going to just like turn the ball onto the next road over here, which leads us to the museum. Cause that road up there will lead you to a dead end if you don't turn and now you just gotta um yeah like no ball you don't want to freak out whenever the ball does bad stuff okay now you want to push from the right side of the ball and let the ball like bounce this way you can see like that and we can push from the right side so that the ball is to the left of us okay, if you guys think that way either so uh, here we go we'll just come over here and just like this keep on rolling the ball we can let the ball roll a little bit Okay, keep on rolling. Okay, you want to let the ball use up all of its energy. Now, once it's going fairly slow, you can just tonk it around the corner like that, just so that it won't fall off, because there's usually no obstacles here at the top of the turn, so you, you want to be very, very careful here. So let's just keep on going, just like this. Whoa, no, 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 don't fall off. Okay, you can see when it goes fairly slowly, the ball it does tend to follow the road. That's why I, I advise you to go very slowly, even though you have the military heli, which can go pretty decently fast. You don't want to use any four-wheeled vehicle because road vehicles just can't really easily like control the soccer ball. But now that once the ball is up here, if you're doing this by yourself, then you can just immediately roll the ball in. I'm going to just like get it legally parked over here like this. But because I'm doing this like just as a tutorial, I might as well just like show you in case... You guys need your um, friends or something to join, so you can see right now I'm on my screen, you can see I'm in this server right here. Just gonna configure real quick and just grab a new link, and I'm gonna share it real quick with like all of the, my Discord members. Um, ball, you wanna watch out for this, okay, because if the ball does this, you gotta like get it to stop, because if it keeps on rolling, it'll fall off and you'll waste a bunch of time. So real quick, while like a bunch of um, people are joining the game that need to get flags, I just like share the link to my Discord. So make sure you guys join that Discord, which is an invite code in my username. This is fairly simple. Just join that, get in there, and you can like I'll send some VIP links if you guys need some flags. All right, so here we go. Now that the server is full of everyone that like kind of needs the um, flags, I'm just gonna go ahead and just like push 
the uh, soccer ball into the goal. This final part, I always recommend you doing it with your Roblox character. Roblox character has the best control, has like the most accurate, it's very very fine control, so like it's the slowest and you have like full control, there's no like inertia and stuff to worry about, like when you release the um, WASD keys it just stops. So that's why I love using the Roblox character for this final step. And then once the ball goes inside, then you will in fact get your flags. And just to show you guys the flags, here is the uh, rim. I mean, not the random, the spoiler, and you click dual flags. Now, a quick note that the uh, flags do not technically count as a spoiler. I'll show you more details in the um, speed test video I did with um, somebody, aka L-Man, like tomorrow. But anyway, this is what the flags look like. They're pretty cool. They show off your skill. But I personally still recommend putting an actual spoiler on. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead now and show you how to do this if you do not have the military heli. Alright, so I'm back here inside another VIP server, so we're gonna go ahead and just show you guys how to do this without the army heli in case you guys do not have it, so... Just like usual, we're gonna spawn in as a police officer. Now, the army heli takes like a lot less time to like um, set up because all you need to do is just jump over here and grab your regular helicopter. Still, it's a helicopter. I'd recommend the air vehicles over the land vehicle. So with this helicopter, you have this front part you can use to push the ball up a uh, steep hill or something like that. The army heli cannot, but the army heli has much better control than this one, which is why I use it. And also has those missile pods and a tail fin, so it's like a horizontal push pushing thingamajig. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and just let the ball do its thing over here, let it calm down a lot. If it's going too fast, you just want the ball to like roll into its um, certain spot. The worst thing you can do is force the ball into a different direction. You want the ball to just let it be the ball, okay? Just let the ball be, and then once it's um, mostly slow, then you can go ahead and just come over here and push it slowly. Just guide it over here onto the road like so. And this part is probably like the hardest part getting it onto the road in the first spot because you're going from off-road to on the road. And once it's on the road, you have these natural guides and these side like um, ridges here. So now we can just keep on pushing this ball from here. Like it doesn't really matter which side you push it, you can do left, right, or center. Then once we go up to these areas that have voids on the sides of the road, like, that don't have like these um, support structures and like guide fences and stuff like that, then you'll have to push from the side that does not have the uh, fence. So right now you can see we're just like ever so slightly getting this ball to roll over here. We're gonna hit that sign, but we're gonna keep it on the road, mostly vertical, just like that. And we're gonna roll it, push it a little bit more over here, and once it's on the bridge, it's um, fairly good to go. We're just gonna let it um, give it a little bit of a tap here, just like that. And once we hit that bridge, it'll roll over to the left a little bit. And now we're gonna have to push the ball this way. Now if the ball comes over here, no, 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 no. If the ball does that, now here's the thing. If you get a blunder, which is like when the ball goes oof, then you want to come over here, you want to get it to a road, like ASAP, just get it onto a road, preferably this road over here, that's near the bank, that's them going um, north-south, this is because the sun goes like that, so that's like west over there and east to the right of me right now, so I'm facing them north, so what you want to do is just come over here, and you want to keep on pushing this ball a little bit like this, just let it roll, okay, the Lambo kind of made it go a little slower, which is good, and now you want to like deflect it at an angle, this way it will go onto this road over here. And now once it's on the road, you can like let it hit the tree, just let it go forwards a bit more, come on ball, keep on rolling, okay good, good job soccer ball, keep rolling. Okay now once it's over here, we can um, deflect it, okay no, 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 go that way, okay good. Now that the ball's back on this main road, we can give it a second try, hopefully this time we won't go oof again. So like earlier, you just want to keep on pushing this ball up this hill. It's fairly easy, self-explanatory, just follow this ball, don't go too fast. It's most of the uh, same tips from earlier applied, except that the um, this helicopter has a slower response time than the army handling, it's also much slower, so you won't be able to um, like go to a new location faster, so the ball's going like really fast. You won't have that much time to react, so uh, here we go. You also don't have the side to push your thingamajig, so you're gonna have to like angle the ball a little bit, kind of. Just takes a lot of practice. I mean, honestly, the first time I did it took me 10 minutes, but I mean, I'm probably more skilled than a lot of you guys at Jailbreak, so obviously for you guys it might take a lot more time. Like, it took Creek an hour. I mean, if Creek takes an hour, I think you guys might too, so. Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, keep on going that way. You can use a tail for a gentle whack of the ball in case it's like really, really not behaving. Like a spanker or something like that. And uh, here we go, we're just gonna let the ball constantly just coast. You wanna let the ball just slow down by itself because you don't wanna go too fast. Like I said earlier, if you go too fast, especially with this helicopter, it's gonna be a lot harder to catch up because you can't physically get, go any faster inside of this vehicle. So here we go. 
ball. All right, come over here. Just same thing as usual, guide it like so. And you want to roll it down to the museum road, just like that. Because I use that as center road because it's much easier to get onto the hill. And then I use this because it's the only way to get to the museum. So now all we got to do is same thing as earlier. Push the ball up the hill like so. And just give it a little bit of a gentle push every, every time it needs it. So uh, here we go, like that. And right now on this hill, you can either use the road or this little um, grass strip over here. Train may or may not cause some lag, so just watch out for that. And now we just gotta come over here, and now bounce it back on the road, and push it towards the inside of the road, because it'll always bounce, and then you can like, use your heli as like a shield to prevent the ball from rolling. I'm really against pushing the ball up these hills, because it's like, very very risky, and you'll like, likely waste some time if you've actually been spending like, hours on this so far. So now we just keep on going straight, like this. Alright, so now it's like, um, mostly up the hill. This final part is honestly, I feel like it's the hardest, besides the very beginning. Now all you want to do is just knock this ball over. No, no, no. The reason why I have the heli is because you have the tail. It's like a quick emergency, like a gatekeeper kind of thing, a majig. You know, like those are railroad crossing bars and stuff. Okay, come on, ball. Go up this hill a little bit. Okay. Now do not fall. Don't you dare. No. Okay. It's on the museum parking lot. Perfect. All right. Now that it's up here, we can use the museum to let it naturally slow down, and then we can like stop it with our Roblox character, like I said earlier. Your humanoid over here is like the best way of stopping the ball. So same thing as last time, once the soccer ball is uh, fairly still, I tend to um, usually, whenever the ball, like I'm about to go into Roblox character moving mode, then I usually just move the uh, helicopter like in front of the goal so the ball doesn't accidentally roll in, especially whenever I'm testing it out with this. But if you're doing a solo, feel free to let the ball just roll in. Because right now I'm trying to get a bunch of people that don't have the thing. I saw this guy in there earlier. This guy, you aren't having a second time because I want to like, Give this away in case you guys aren't aware i do streams where i just give away the ball flags constantly so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit notifications and everything so that you don't miss a chance to grab these um flags without having to try a single bit besides getting into my vip server okay so now that we have a full server of people i'm gonna show you guys how to get the ball into the goal this is like the same thing as last time we just go ahead and just come way over here and go like line up with the goal and then get a good amount of speed and then push it in and get the flags and same thing as last time, you should have the flags. Well, I've already had the flags for a long time, so there's no need to show you guys that again. So that is basically the entire tutorial on how to get the flags. Spoilers. Everyone in the chat's thanking me because, like, I mean, if you already have your help me on a friend, might as well just invite the rest of, like, a bunch of people. Like, send a link in, like, a crazy Discord server with, like, a bunch of active people that don't have it. So share the love if you already have it so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial to get the um ball into the museum and get the flag spoilers be sure to hit like comment subscribe turn on notifications join the discord server links are all inside of the video description and i will see you guys next time <laughs>